did I just move the car so I didn't have to do that in front of my neighbor's window? Yes. Was it worth the chill that was in the air? No. Hey guys, how are ya? Good? Oh, that's great. Me too. Well, actually, maybe not great. <laughs> Might be pushing it a little bit there. I have a severe lack of motivation. Um, so that's why I'm doing this video, because I have a lot of, well not a lot, but I have a few chores that I need to do, and I felt the only way I was going to do it is if I made a video forcing, I'm holding this, is if I made a video of me doing it. This video is purely for me. Um, I got my coffee, so I'm ready to go. I hope no one can see me, because this is awkward. I just want you to know, I plan on starting this at like 9am this morning. But then I just hit snooze until about 11. And it is currently 2 o'clock. So, a little bit, just a little bit <laughs> behind schedule. Just, just a little bit. Just smidge. I guess the first thing I need to do is what I'm going to do right now is actually go to the post office. Let's start. I'm just going to explain why I need to go to the post office because... I don't like driving in silence and I can't play music because copyright. And someone can let me know if this is normal or if I'm going crazy. Let me just let me just explain first. Okay, me and my mom have noticed our mailbox is open. Like it's not like fully open, but it's definitely cracked and like it, it hasn't been locked. But when we leave it, I definitely lock it every time we do it because our lock is a little weird. We have to push it and like kind of like like do this thing to and then lock it otherwise it won't latch every time we leave the mailbox it is locked it is secure it is fort knox it's secure it's locked okay thursday night i went to check my mail mind you that whole last week every time i checked the mail there was nothing in there so i'm like i guess we're just not gonna even mail this week i don't know and i open it and there's a note <laughs> i'm like okay and it said something like please make sure you keep your, your mailbox locked Thank you, mail carrier. I'm like, okay, but I do lock it because it should be locked by the time the mail carrier gets to it. Me and my mom are the only ones that have access to the mailbox, you know? So then my mom, <laughs> she left the note back and said, please make sure you lock the mailbox <laughs> before leaving because it's always open when we come and get it. So that's why I was confused. I was like, wait, what do you mean? make sure we lock it like do you want us to come in after you and lock it for ourselves because it's definitely locked after we check it so it makes hello <laughs> so it makes no sense why by the time she gets to it it's still open unless someone else has a key and is opening my mailbox i don't know so mind you the note said to come to the post office to pick up the mail so friday comes i go to the post office they can't find our mail and i'm like hello where's my mail? he said okay just I'll leave a note for her, come back tomorrow, Saturday, and get your mail then. She might have just taken it out today. Now, I come back, I check my mail, it's still empty. But this time, she responded to my mom's note. That note I still have, I'll leave the picture of it right here. <laughs> and it was, it said something like, I don't have individual keys for the locks. Your lock is broken, have your maintenance fix it. <laughs> I'm like, how? It locks, like if I can lock it, I don't really understand what's happening. Either way, that was annoying. Cut to Saturday. It's only open from 10.30 to 2.30. My mom had to leave at 10.30 to go to an appointment. She had to rush back after her appointment to try and make it to the post office to get her mail because we've got some important things coming in the mail. Like, you know, my ballot, which I am voting and I need my ballot. So she gets to the post office and then the guy goes back and checks the mail isn't there again it's like oh she must have took it out again so now we had to have we had to oh my gosh so now we had to sign a paper to hold our mail there even though he told us that he was going to hold it there and he left a note saying to hold it there and then didn't hold it there and now obviously it's close sunday so now it's monday so now let's just pray and cross our fingers that the mail is there today because on the note it said they only hold the mail for like 10 days or something before they send it back to who sent it. I need my ballot. If my ballot is there and they send it back, that's gonna be really annoying. And that's really the only thing I'm worried about, honestly. All right, but anyway, let's hope and pray and send some vibes and... I'll see when I get there. 
So I'm a freaking idiot. It is October, Monday, October the 12th or 13th, whatever day it is, which means it's a federal holiday celebrating a man that shouldn't even be going down in history as a freaking hero. But it's fine, so it's closed. So again, no mail today. Guess we'll try again tomorrow. I don't freaking know. Um, <laughs> yeah, happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Okay, bye. And I looked like an idiot because I was standing there in the little doorway for the, where they give you your mail for pickup and I rang the bell and no one came. But there were three guys behind me in line and the one guy at the end, he was like, oh wait, is the door open? I was like, no, but I rang the bell and no one came. He's like, oh, it's a federal holiday. They're closed. He was like, oh my God, I totally forgot. And he left. So I wasn't the only one. I'm at Jersey Mike's to pick up lunch for me and my mom. It's like three o'clock now and I haven't eaten today. So now I'm hungry. Um, on the bright side, the old guy that was behind me in line as we were walking out, he was like, who cares about Columbus Day anyway? So I'm uh, gonna get my food now, bye. <laughs> good enough i'll never get these angles right <laughs> i'm back with some fresh coffee it's been a couple hours i just angrily ate lunch at the injustice of me having to leave my house with no reward abandon my solitude for disappointment so now i'm doing the second thing that i needed to do but just haven't done and that's get rid of some shoes shoes and I really honestly should have done this before I moved because then I wouldn't have had to travel with all these, but... Uh, wow, that was impressive. Okay. Yikes. We're gonna do it now because why do I know time like the present? I've done this before with my clothes. Granted, I didn't get rid of as many as I honestly could have, but hopefully I'll do better with my shoes because there's literally five pairs that I honestly wear and some of them that are just Genuinely ugly. I already have, obviously, the pairs that I, I say I wear all the time I'm gonna keep. Like my, my high top vans, my white and black adidas, my gray adidas. What else? Oh, these ones are also like these. I haven't worn in a while, but I'll wear them again. <laughs> For my Steve Madden, my boots I'm gonna keep because, I mean, I don't have anywhere fancy to go or anywhere that would require booties. Ignore the powder, because I have to clean them. I had, when I was moving, I had them obviously in like the storage unit. So a lot of them still have like the, I don't remember what it's called, a certain kind of powder on it to prevent like bugs from getting inside your shoes and stuff. I don't know when I'm going to be wearing heels again. Should always have them on deck, just in case. Okay, these, do they even fit? I mean, I think they still fit. They just like, I've had these for at least seven years. <laughs> I have, I've worn them maybe three times. They're just uncomfortable and I don't have the patience to really break them in. But I'm sure once I break them in, they will be fine. So I'm keeping them. Because I have no self-control. These are another shoe. <laughs> As you can see, they have yet to be worn. I've had these for probably three years. Like the laces are still tied the way they were when I got them in the box. And the other laces, the spare laces are still attached and the tags are still on it. I'm going to keep these and wear them <sighs> in my clothes closet whatever clean out video I had a lot of Under Armour clothes because I got them on discount because I worked there so it's really the same thing with my shoes I'm pretty much keeping all my Under Armour shoes the only <laughs> non Under Armour like running athletic shoe I have are these Nikes they're disgusting <laughs> Because there was a period in my life where in like high school I did a lot of 5Ks. We did like the wipeout run, uh, color run, all those. I did the savage race and these were the shoes that I used. So they're disgusting. It's been like four years since I've done <laughs> a 5K. Not that I ran them in the first place. So I think I'm just going to get rid of these. And then on my Under Armour ones, I am going to keep for sure. For sure, shirty. I think the only shoe that I may have more 
um, more of than my Under Armour shoes are my Vans. Honestly, these are probably the ones that I'm going to get rid of the most. Same, same, same period of my life when I was doing 5Ks, I had a thing, a huge thing for Vans. My style has changed a lot. I don't wear a lot of patterned shoes. I wear black, white, and gray shoes, and that's really... That's really it. Most of these vans are not, and they're honestly kind of ugly. They might have been cute in middle school and high school when I got these, but less so now. When am I ever gonna wear these again? And there's a hole in it. Look at this. <laughs> a whole hole right there, so. Another pair that was cute at the time are these ones. <laughs> like, I liked them when I got them. I really like them. They were the gray slip-ons, but they are so dingy. I'm pretty sure this is like beyond cleaning, so I don't even want to touch them. <laughs> they're just, they're gross. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these first ones that I haven't worn yet and get rid of these ones. These disgusting and digi and gross and beyond saving, so we can get rid of those. I'm going to hold on to these ones. I wore them to my prom. <laughs> I wore heels for the first half of prom. And then when I got there, I took the heels off very quickly and put these on instead. My dress was long enough to cover my shoes anyway, so no one was going to see them. I was more comfortable. I'm going to keep them. <laughs> these one, these are my spurs. Spurs. I'm going to keep them. They're easy slip-on white shoes. Wow, look at that So Look how fast that was. My last pair of shoes are these vans. I, another pair I haven't worn yet. <laughs> I really like them. Like, look at that. That's kind of cool with the little study stud things. They remind me of those belts that we used to wear in middle school that had like the studs all around them and we thought we were really emo. Yeah, used to wear that belt with my 303 jacket and thought it was cool. So I'm gonna keep these. Wow, that was so easy. It's a lot easier than my clothes, honestly. But now I just gotta be a huge pile of shoes Cheers. down here that I need to clean up and put back. And I need to do that. So I'm gonna do that. Again, if you see white powder on my shoes, I promise it's not drugs. I'm not a drug dealer. Trust me, if I was, I wouldn't be living here. I'd be living in a mansion in the hills. Actually, probably not. I obviously don't have a shoe rack yet. I need to go get one, but this will do for now. They're not all piled on top of each other since half of them are gone. So, alrighty then. Um, I'm pretty much done with my chore filled day. It's only I think like eight o'clock, but I'm I'm tired. I think that caffeine crash is really hitting. Got everything that I needed to do done today. I mean, obviously except for the mail, but that's not my fault. After I did my shoes, the only thing I did was vacuum. And I had this coffee stain that was, I spilled some coffee over there, but I cleaned it. It's all clean it now, scrubby dub dub, gone, I think, I hope. It hasn't dried yet, so. The last thing I really need to do now is uh, go take a shower. It's the last, I mean, I guess it's not really a chore. It's more of a necessity. Although right now it kind of feels like a chore. Only because I need to do my hair. I need to put a face mask. A face mask in my hair? No. I need to put a hair mask on and leave it in overnight because my hair's. She needs a little, a little help. Thanks for coming along this ride. Like I said before, this video is more for me than anything. <laughs> I'm just using this as a way to get my chores done. And I guess I'll try and go to the post office again tomorrow morning and let you know how that goes. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. Do all the dang things if you feel like it. I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself because I just look. I look like a train wreck. You don't want to look, but you keep looking. Okay, bye. <laughs> I got my mail. I waited in line at the post office for an hour for them to tell me it was delivered, but I got it. Okay, bye. If my appearance, if my hair, uh, isn't what? <laughs> oh, this lady's pulling out next to me, so this is awkward. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let me let me let you know what we're gonna let me <laughs> what. So, 
F Columbus Day, F not being able to get my mail today, and Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. The only holiday that should matter today, and it's the only holiday I recognize. Okay. Signing off. <laughs>